Hey there, my name's Dutch, and I'm going to show you how today how to make a split letter monogram in Inkscape 1.0. I did this video a while back in an older version of Inkscape, and it no longer seems to work, and I still get messages on how to accomplish it. So I'm going to show you how to do it in the new version of Inkscape. So let me start by getting rid of this one and going up to Object, and I want to show the Align and Distribute menu the one. Now I'm going to go over here to my text. I'm just going to type my D for Dutch. And then I'm going to uh, scale it up by holding the control key and grabbing the corner and just make it bigger for clarity here. Oh, and over here it's going to be last selected. Make sure you have last selected. Once I have that scaled up, I'm going to make it black just to make it easier. And I am going to go to Path object to path and then I'm going to go to object ungroup and you should see down here it says path and it's the number of nodes it just just as long as it says path and nodes you're good to go I'm going to click off that and I'm going to grab my rectangle tool and I'm going to make my first rectangle and I'm going to come up here to path and go object to path oops didn't work or did it? Nope, see it says path four nodes, that's what you want. Now I'm going to control C, control V and duplicate that and I'm going to make it red. I'm going to make it a little bit longer and a little bit narrower. Now this will all be personal preference on the size of your rectangles. So <clears throat> now I'm going to grab the black one I'm going to hold the shift key, click on the D, and go to my line and distribute, and distribute vertical, and then horizontal. And then while I have them both selected, I'm going to go to path, union. And you should see another, it says path down here again. That's what you want to see. Now I'm going to select my red rectangle, hold my shift key, and select the D again. And I'm going to go back over to my line and distribute menu, or vertical, horizontal, and while I have them all selected, I'm going to go to Path, Difference. And there you go. Simple as that. This is for the version Inkscape 1.0. If you would like to see it for the older version, um, check my channel and there is a video in there on how to do that. And the font I'm using is the Regal font and it's available on DA Fonts. Hey, thanks for watching. Later.